Remember, Quran does not entertain children of first Antichrist scale, the Romans, the Persians, settlers who settled on the land of Tamil nation from Turkey to Indus Valley and Semitic black race region Jerusalem to Mecca. Remember, Roman Persian rejected Prophet Muhammad invitation. In other words, they rejected Tamil Shiva school of thought based on creation and balance under Asivagam way of life, the real Islam. Persian Roman settlers, the, the children of first Antichrist Cain is now hiding behind Shia, Sufi, Sunni, Wahhabi label. They are enemies of Asivagam, the true way of Islam. After victory of Mecca, children of first Antichrist Cain, Roman Persian are not allowed to enter Hijaz region. Read Quran chapter 9 for more details. Since Bani Israel's old administration center at Jerusalem was illegally occupied by the settlers, Roman Persians who are from generation of first Antichrist Cain. So Mecca became the new administration center for Bani Israel of Semitic race, whose administrators are from royal bloodline of David tribe Judah Moor. It was only after 15th century when Moors were removed from power and Hijaz region was ruled by Ottoman Empire. Hijaz region was governed by a governor of Ottoman Empire. Mecca and Hijaz region in 19th century was 100% under siege by settlers Saudi Wahhabi families. Commercialization of Hajj Umrah was done by Saudi who illegally occupied Hijaz region in 19th century. Remember, Roman Persian now disguised as Shia, Sufi, Sunni, Wahhabi, they started going to Mecca only after conquest of a Hijaz region by Saudi. Quran chapter 17 verse 104 confirms Bible about final exodus where children of Israel of Semitic black race would return home and take back their old and new administration from the Antichrist Cain children, Persian, Roman, now disguised as Shia, Sufi, Sunni, Wahhabi, Philistine and white Jew. So final fight is between new world order headed by Saudi and its associates versus Jesus Christ who is from the seed of David, tribe Judah, more.